Close your eyes, watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. The rains retreat ended this morning at dawn. There's an old tradition, it goes back at least at the time of King Ashoka, that the Buddha spent one of his rains retreats up in heaven, teaching his mother. And then at the end of the rains retreat he came down. They say that the devas created a staircase from heaven on down to earth. Indra came on one side with a parasol, some other deva, I can't remember the name, stayed on the other side with a whisk, accompanied the Buddha down. And the people who hadn't seen the Buddha for three months had gotten news he was going to come down in Sankasa. It's a, it's a town in India to the east of Agra. And so they all came, because there were so many of them, they couldn't get close to him. And so when he came down and started receiving alms, some of them took their rice and they tied it up in leaves, and they put a little long tail at the leaf and they threw it into his bowl. That's why we had all the rice sweets this morning. And the place where this is supposed to have happened still has an Ashokan column to commemorate the event. They say also that the worlds were opened up so that the hell beings could see the beings in heaven, the beings in heaven could see the beings in hell. Human beings could see both. The punishments in hell stopped for a bit, and people realized, oh, there really are these other levels of being. Life would be a lot more convenient if things were open like that all the time. People could see that you do unskillful things and there's going to be problems. You do skillful things, there are going to be rewards. That's a principle a lot of people forget or ignore or deny. But as the Buddha said, if you want to find true happiness, it's one of those principles you have to accept as a working hypothesis, that your actions really do make a difference. This is one of the reasons why we meditate. Because where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. If the mind is untrained, this engine for your life is being controlled by somebody crazy. It's not under control. Your greed takes over, your delusion takes over, your anger takes over. It's like crazy people taking over your machine. And who knows where they're going to, what they're going to do with it, what kind of life they're going to create. There's no, nothing really certain about them at all. Sometimes they like one thing and then they turn around and they like something else. And the life that gets created as a result it switches back and forth very quickly. So if you want a life that's solid and dependable, you've got to train your mind to be solid and dependable. So try to be dependable in staying with the breath right now. Make up your mind you're going to do something good and stick with it. In this case you're going to develop concentration or develop your mindfulness. And if you want these things to have power in your life, you have to Make sure that they're strong and continuous, and you stick with your intention to develop them. Don't switch off to something else. So even as you get up from the meditation, try to keep watch over your mind to make sure that nothing unskillful comes in and takes over. And try to develop this quality of being very watchful all the time. That way you don't need to have the worlds open up in front of you. You know for yourself that the source of all goodness is in good shape. And you begin to trust it. The more continually you watch it, the more trustworthy it's going to be.